for the next demonstration we are on radial 0, 8, 0 for 10.5 nautical miles, 10.4 never mind, just keep an integer, let's say 10 nautical miles with heading 0, 5, 9, 0, 5, 8 and I would like to go to radial 300 at double the distance at 20 uh, nautical miles so let's say 10 nautical miles double is 20 so again the same steps first I assume that the Tacan station is on the center of my HSI next I put my points A and B for the circumference on the compass rows first point is A on my current radial here is the Tacan needle tail so here is point A, then I locate point B on the circumference first, 300 knots, 300 degrees, but I cannot leave this point here because I'm going double the distance. And now I'm going to show you another trick that's a little bit different than the way I showed in the initial video on how to solve the point-to-point the -point problem. I will leave in the circumference my initial point, the small distance, 10 nautical miles, and I will extend the line between the center of the instrument and 300, the desired radial, again at about here. So I will assume that my point B is not here, but it's double the distance. So if from here to here is 10 nautical miles, from here to here is 10 nautical miles and again from here to here another 10 nautical miles so I will again use the pencil you can see here 080 300 desired radial exactly here but I will not stay here because I'm going double the distance so I'm going somewhere here I need to count this distance so this is 10 nautical miles, I extend to here, show my index again, it's pointing point B. Now I will draw my line between uh, point A and point B, which is on my left index, like this. And now I will slide parallelly this line to the center of the instrument in order to solve the heading solution of my point-to-point -point problem like this 270-280-290 my initial solution 290 I'm going on a heading 060 so the shortest way is to turn left for heading 290 let's orient ourselves in the after map so Right now we are on radial 080, uh, 10 nautical miles, and I would, I would like to go to radial 300, exactly 20 nautical miles. So 300, nautical, nautical miles is here. So, if I know it's a little bit to the left of GH20, let's draw the solution here. Here it says 293 and my solution, my initial solution was 290. Let's return to the cockpit. So, my solution was on 290, left, disengaging active pose, turning left for 290. rolling out of my heading solution 
fly the jet, flight level one to zero, 300 knots, and when, when, I, when I am comfortable enough, I will select the new radial for point B, which is 300. So, selecting the radial, 300, zero, just to check if we are going from the correct direction. I will adjust the scale a little bit. And yes, we are going at a generally good direction. 290, let's keep our initial solution and let's resolve the problem. Right now, I am on radial uh, 030. Uh, at 8 nautical uh, miles, 3 by 8, 24, it's about correct, so I connect this line, this line here, I need to be a little bit to the left, so let's adjust 5 degrees to left. This is the radial I'm going to meet, I have a meeting angle. This distance now it's 8 nautical miles. I need to beat on 20. So if I return to 20, this 8, I need to be 10, 10, somewhere here. I need to point somewhere here. So I think I need to turn left a little bit to 285, for example. And again, I cannot stress uh, this uh, enough. This uh, feature of the way the radial works, the course window works in the Hornet is amazing. It uh, helps you a lot in order to solve these kind of problems like point point. Right now I'm in 10, in 10 nautical miles, so that means this is 10 nautical miles, this is 20. Again, I have to be where the yellow cross is. That means I need to turn a little bit to the left for me to point the where the yellow cross was, so probably 274 degrees or 275. Remember my point B, destination point 0300 uh, zero, zero, at 20 nautical miles, 20 DME to be uh, exact, not nautical miles, because you remember DME is land range, not uh, ground uh, distance. It progressed well, 13 miles, that means the air is 13, about here is 20. I can adjust my scale to be more accurate. I think 275 will get us exactly to the point B. At such situation, you need to remember that you need to, after you have uh, solved your solution, you solve your problem, for example, 275, you need to take on account the wind uh, that may drift you from your original heading, etc. I think it's going to be exactly on two nautical, let's go to five. Let's keep the heading 275. Ah, now I see I can stretch it a little bit in order to get to 20 nautical miles. So 10 degrees to the right. And right now I see that I am on point B, almost 20 nautical miles. Radial 300. Zero, zero. As you can see here, you don't have to be very precise, you just need to be in the good direction. Uh, the limit for a successful point to point is uh, plus minus two nautical miles, I think. So that's all for now. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. I will leave you now to enjoy this kind of flying. <laughs>